I think I don't need to introduce this modification. You know all about that. Yeah, today we're gonna play as the Russia. Russian Lebensraum with the worst, the great worst Boris Savinkov. Not this man, Alexander Kerensky. He is a weak man. Just look at this Russia. It's too small to name Russia. To name Russia, it must have the Central Asia, the Eastern Europe, Poland, Finlandia, Bessarabia, Caucasus, of course, Zeltorosia, and other territories. That's gonna be the Lebensraum and the Great Russia. So, enjoy! Russian troops has no sound. That's bad. The Единую Россию. Long live Russia. One and invisible. At least the constitution guarantees stability. Yeah, it's the Russian constitution of 1922. And it's not so good. New economic policy or NEP. Lenin snap. But it's not the Lenin snap. Kornilov storms Moscow. The streets run red with blood. This is the war crimes in Yugoslavia in 1997. Invite the worst into the government. Yeah, the great worst Boris Savinkov. The Karnilov Savinkov Alliance. Karnilov and Savinkov shall save Holy Russia. And about our population. The population of Russia now is 93 million people, but we need 300 million people living in the Russia in the near future, by 1946, if we're gonna to play to this year. Assassination of Maria Spiridonova, that's good. All socialists must be destroyed. It's the rise of the new Russia, of a great Russia with the worst. First woman's division of death. No woman divisions in the Russia. This is unacceptable. Woman must be in the kitchen and cook borscht and pelmeni. Just look at our worst. All enemies of the nation will be stopped. I trust in our worst. Direct rule from Moscow. All regions must be ruled by Moscow. Ural tractor plants. Yeah, it's a tractor. We will use that for the agriculture. Good tractor, I like it. Why? Just why? Ah, you long. Again. Okay. Now what? You are the president of the USA. It's not even funny to joke about the dick. Really? Oh yeah! Admiral Kolchak murdered in the Transamur Republic. Goodbye Kolchak, goodbye. Oh, but now we have the Japanese rule of the Transamur, just look at this. Oi Shigemoto! I don't like him, he looks strange, he looks like Japanese. Oh, Kornilov is dead. He was a great man. But it's the rise of the worst of the Boris Savinkov. Now he has all power in the Russia. And just look at our worst. He's great one. He has a lot of buffs. And just look at our flag. We have a new flag. Now we're the Russian state. And now we have the idea of the Lebensraum. Russian Lebensraum. Kingdom of Finland may cheat in the pants. So now they have joined the Reichspakt after the news that the worst is controlling all the power in the Russia. Oh, about the purges and the war crimes in the Russia. Just like we said, through pain a stronger Russia will rise. That's exactly what we need. We need a great Russia that can destroy all their enemies. And only through destroying the socialists and liberals we can build the great Russia. All Russian nation, that includes Crimea, White Russia, Little Russia, or Ukraine and beyond. One nation, one country, one Russia. Oh, the great trail of the left separatists. I approve that. You fought the law and the law has won. Woo, directive number one. 
приказ вождя. Reforming the Senate? Senate? What is this? We have washed. Why do we need a something named Senate? We announce the state revanchism to the whole world to reborn the Russian Empire territories. Not Russian Empire, but Russian Empire territories. And that fact that we want to control the Eastern and Central with the Southern Europe. Also take new positions in the Asia. Free trade for a great Russia. Now our army is going to be 120 divisions. And we can't wait to watch Berlin burn. Never another Brest Litovsk. That's the truth. Oh, Trans Siberian Railroad. 105 days. Okay, let's do it. After that, we are moving to the expansionism. And we are going to destroy all our enemies, starting from the Central Asia and Crisis on the Dawn. Like Kadyrov says, Dawn, 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 Dawn. Okay, so it's 1st February 1949 and we are making our move. We are creating the Moscow Accord and after that we are moving to the Don Kuban Union and Central Asia. Of course we are preparing the invasion into the Eastern Europe and having a great war with the German Empire. And the first step is going to be on the Don, because a lot of Russians live in the Don, as well as the, a lot of Ukrainians live right here. And we will gain positions in the Azov Sea and Port Novorossiysk with the Black Sea. Soon this rebel state will be no more. Yep, yep and yep. Okay, the German offers us mediation. Let's go to the negative nations with them, because you know we will gain some positions anyway. Okay. Now we have these territories and they are core states. Yep, we don't have Kuban, we don't have Novocherkask, we don't have Rostov and we don't have Tsimilyansk. But we will gain it soon. We will destroy the territories and we will take them by our forces, by the Russian army. Now they are the puppet of the German Empire. Let's take the Central Asia, the whole Central Asia. And, of course, we'll take Tua. By the April 1949, the liberation of the Central Asia has started. So let's go and liberate the whole Central Asia. Our first enemy is destroyed. Goodbye, Allah Sharda. Minus Hiva. Oh, and also I'll try to size Tua. I just saw this option and... Let's click. Just let's click. And see what we will get. Goodbye, Bukhara. It's 25th of, of August 1939 and the Commune of France has declared war on the German Empire. So yeah, we wish luck to the French Commune. They are destroying the German Empire right now. They should hold on for one year or one and a half year. And soon we will join this war too and occupy the Eastern Europe. Oh, Mongolia surrenders. That's a great deal. And finally... The Central Asia is clear. Bye-bye, Turkestan. The strange situation we have right now. The Paris is almost captured, but look at the northern Germany and Poland. This is kinda strange, World Krieg. Lol, the Berlin has fall and after that the Austria intervenes the second World Krieg. You can see that the Common Art Forces has occupied the Berlin. Lol, oh my god. XD. Now the Serbia with their alliance joined the Second World Crack and started the Fifth Balkan War against the United States of the Greater Austria. The great chaos is happening in the Europe. Lithuania has joined the Third International. Wow! Radical socialists are now in the Italy. So now we have to have war with the Communards. Funny situation, you know. And in this situation, by February 1940, we must decrush the German hegemony. We need to move into the Eastern Europe and into the Scandinavia. We need to make this house even bigger. It's April 1940 and you can see that the situation before our intervention. Look at this disgusting. Belgrad Pact, Reichspact, Third International in the Northern Germany, Republic of Poland defending against all, Third International positions in Lithuania. 
and Tente positions even in uh, East Prussia. The positions of Entente in the England and in the Portugal. So the Russian beer is coming to deal with that, with all our enemies. The best situation we have now in the Ukraine. Ukraine is going to capitulate soon. No, 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 no. Poland needs to be ours, not an our ally. Oh, we are taking Minsk right now. Yeah, Minsk is captured. Let's capture the whole Belarus. As well as capture the whole Ukraine. You can see that almost all left bank of the Dnieper is captured. Hello, Kiev. We are capturing you. Yeah, Kiev is captured. Oh, we just need to unite with the Kiev forces. Can you help us, please? Because we are going to Zhitomir, you know, and Kiev stares there. Yeah, we have united with the Kiev forces. Kiev is safe right now. Yeah, in the Donkuban Union we are doing not so good, but we are dealing good in Ukraine, in the Belarus and in the Finland. We are moving to Helsinki. Right now we are moving to Crimea. Oh, a few encirclements in Ukraine. And you can see that the Crimea is going to be ours. Oh, there are a lot of German troops left here. Finally Riga has fall and you can see our front right now. Uh, we are doing not so bad, we are moving to the Germany. Georgia has capitulated, that's the great one news. Now we have destroyed all enemies that left and we are going to send these troops into the Europe. Okay, so now we are starting the great attack from the Hungary to East Prussia. Let's go, let's fucking go. Okay, so the commune of France has been destroyed by the German Empire. That's a bad news. We are doing not so good in the Germany, but look at our positions in the Austria. We are destroying the United States of the Greater Austria. We are near the Vienna. Vienna is going to be a Russian city, as well as Graz. Vienna has fall, but that is not enough to capitulate the United States of the Greater Austria. We need to go further to the Praga. The Russian forces are pushing the Praga, we are liberating the Czech people. The Czech people must be liberated from the Austrian directory. Now Czechs are free. The time has come, the United States of the Greater Austria have capitulated, just look at this. Krakow is going to be a Russian city. We like that information. Oh, so the Munich is free, we are taking the Munich. Augsburg and going to the western Germany. Oh, you can see that the communards are encircled right here and we can destroy them easily in the northern Italy and Austria. I'll research enemy in the east to gain claim on Sakhalin and Kurils and unlock some good decisions. German front is collapsed. Russian forces are near Berlin by end of the March 1941. Berlin is clear, so we're gonna take it easily. Bye bye, the capital of the German Kaiserreich. Also, Sardinia has took the whole Italy. Congratulations, Sardinia. The cities which are located on the Rhine are captured. Only Köln has left by the German rule. The collapse of the Reichspact. Well done. Now we're dealing with the Eastern Europe and also with the United States of the Greater Austria. My first move looks like this. My second move looks like this. My third move looks like this. And these Austrian territories I will give to the Serbia. They are our Slavic brothers. Like that. Well done. Oh, and this is mine. Now we are destroying the Deutsches Kaiserreich. And Finland. The partition of Deutsches Kaiserreich has started. The partition of Germany looks like this. Now I must destroy the British Union. Fucking bastards. You are gonna be destroyed. Okay, now they have formed the United States of the Yugoslavia. Let them be like that. But we need them to join the Moscow Accord. Even Poland has declared war on Lithuania, so we need to destroy Lithuania fast. Oh, we are going to invite the United States of the Yugoslavia into the, our alliance, and we are going to integrate Alasharda and also Hiva. No, Romania won't join because Bessarabia is Russian, with Chernovtsi too. Reintegration of the Georgia, reintegration of Ukraine, reintegration of Latvia, reintegration of White Ruthenia. We will liberate Flanders and uh, let's create the German Union. Why Romania? We're talking about Yugoslavia, but it's okay. Yugoslavia has joined the Moscow Accord with the Bulgaria, which is now the puppet of the Yugoslavia. 
They shall be crushed. No peace with the Finland. We are going to destroy them soon. I promise it that to you. Now we are finally attacking the Union of Britain. And with that we are gonna to attack the People's Republic of Lithuania. Let's move and conquer back our territories. Also, the Finland has capitulated. Now Finland is a rightful part of the Russia, Russian state. Oh, it's in Italy with their cool color, with Amadeov I. Let's release the Czechoslovakia with the mountain general. Bold mountain general. Integration of Estonia and an annexation of the Finnish lands. The next country with who will deal with is going to be the Poland. Bye bye Poland. We are annexing Galicia. We will get Transcarpathia to Czechoslovakia. We will recreate Belgium. Yeah, now we have the Belgium right here. Burgenland will go to the Hungary. And Aland Islands are going to be annexed. Just look at our pretty cool border if we will destroy the Poland. Now we are going to attack the Republic of Poland. After that we are going to Armenia. And of course we need to destroy the illegitimate France right here. 25 days after destroying Poland we will take our forces to destroy the France. The Russian army has integrated into the Poland. By the end of the November we have to destroy the whole Poland. The special operation of destroying Poland is going pretty good. We are gonna to destroy them soon. The Warsaw is almost captured. We are annexing the Polish lands. As well as I declared war on the French and now my army is coming to take the whole France. As well as Armenia is going to be mine. Armenia is annexed and these lands will stay with us. We are in the Paris like in 1814. Bye bye France. Pretty good. We are gonna to liberate France under a puppet government. Yeah, now we have the France and I'll give them some territories of other countries. Now France looks like this, this is the perfect France and it has all the territories that France must have, even the Alsace-Lorraine. Now I have to take my forces to the Romanian border and demand Bessarabia with the northern Bukovina from them. Then it's going to be a war with Romania if they refuse to give us our territories. But where is my war? Okay, Nog will help us with that. Let's go! Now we are coming into the Bessarabia and moving right into the Bucharest. No, they must taught a lesson. Bucharest has fallen and Romania is going to capitulate. Uh, yep, we'll take Bessarabia and liberate Romania. Oh, it's small Romania, you know. We'll split Dobruja between Romania and Bulgaria. Yep, like this. Now Bulgaria looks good. Oh, perfect. And this territory is going to Romania. As well as Alfold is going to Romania. And now look at the Moscow Accord. We looks great. We are located from Britain to Kamchatka. Now I'm moving my forces to the Middle East and to Persia. Oh, and I forgot to say that our European border has formed to the end. That's the way it will look like to the end of the, our campaign, like in Finland, like there with German, Czechoslovakia and Romania. That's a pretty cool border in my mind. Leave your mind in the comments below. And by the way, let's attack the Afghanistan and also Turkey. The special operation of destroying Iran has started. I almost encircled a lot of divisions of Iran, but I can still do that. You can see that in the northern Iran I have chance to do that. Bye bye Afghanistan and Turkey. Now Bulgaria has joined this war and we are moving to the Constantinople. Oh, Canada is destroying the Union of Britain. That's a pretty good news. Right now we are pushing Ankara. Enemy number one was destroyed and it's going to be the part of the Russian state. Minus second enemy. Great deal. Now we even have the part of the Dominion of India, Belugistan. Let's go to the East Turkestan and integrate the Jalta Russia. By the way, we are going to move east to Mongolia, to Fintian, to Transamur and destroy the Japanese Empire. Minus Turkey. Now Bosphor and Dardanelli is ours. As well as the Constantinople. 
reintegration of the Azerbaijan and annexation of the Persia. By the way, the Comunards have capitulated. Now we're gonna take their territories. We just need the Germany, Batavia and Lithuania. Yeah, I have took all that I need. Let's invite Kingdom of the Greece to our alliance. Kurdistan is going to be ours. Now the Kingdom of Greece is the member of the Moscow Accord. Great job, Greece. Well done. And I'll give you the territory of the Adrianople. Now Greece is looking better, but Constantinople will live with me. Look at the, our positions in the Europe. They are great one. We have there just Antente and the Moscow Court. It's the perfect partition of the world. I like that border that we have from annexion Persia and Afghanistan. I don't wanna wait, let's just attack them. Cause it's too long to wait for this war. And they have already prepared to eat. Yeah, now it's going pretty good. Bye bye East Turkestan. Mongolia and Maklik is going to be ours. The Japanese Empire has now declared war almost to everyone. We have to destroy this piece of shit named Japan. That think that they are the cool imperialists. No, 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 we are the one cool imperialists. Now let's attack the Maklik. As well as Mongolia. Let's go. The intervention started pretty good. We are moving to the Mongolian lands and to the central China. Now the whole world fights against Japanese. We will soon join this war. Oh yeah, Mongolia has capitulated. A lot of Ma forces left here, so we need to push them further. Bye bye, Ma clique. We are dealing with you. Finally, they have capitulated and I'll take all territories that I need. Yeah, all territories are mine. Now we are moving to the far east to destroy the jo Japanese Empire, not the German Empire. Let's try the first deal with the Empire of Japan. Maybe try take Transamur. Ova will take two. Claim Transamur. All Russians must be under Russian rule. Because we have a Japanese rule in the Transamur. Ha ha ha. Transamur is ours. So now we should destroy only the Fentian and the Empire of Japan. So let's start our invasion into the Japan. Yeah, now we're moving to the Japan. Also, I'm going to help the Queen government to destroy the Japanese. We have the one front right here. After conquering the China, Korea and Japan, we are gonna have enough Lebensraum to live to the Russian people, to spread the Russian culture and Russian influence. Oh, we have take back the Port Arthur that we lost in the Russo-Japanese war in 1905. Russian Blitzkrieg is going pretty good. We are now conquering the Seoul. And the latest point of uh, our conquering uh, of Korea is Busan. Just look what is happening in Korea. A lot of our forces are pushing the Korea back. And the Fintian government has almost capitulated. That's a pretty good encirclement. And let's help them to conquer their territories back. Bye bye, Japanese Empire. You have lost Korea and, Fet and Fentian for a few months, as well as the Sakhalin. They have left with like 35 divisions or uh, something like that. Near 40 divisions, maybe. Now we are just waiting for the event of the fading sun and collapse of the Japanese Empire. Okay, the Japanese offer us a peace. We accept their peace. Peace with the Empire of Japan of the Fading Sun. Yeah, that's good, that's a great deal. No, 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 Fentian is mine. I have occupied the whole Fentian, so fuck you, Queen, it's my territory. Ha! Huh? You won't take it, son of a bitch, it's mine territories. You have seen that I have liberated the Manchuria, so Manchuria is mine. Queen, you will live in these borders and Say thanks to me that I haven't crushed you. This is gonna be the Great Russia, the Great Russian Liberian Shram from Korea to Sakhalin. Military occupation of Korea and military occupation of Manchuria. And what about our population? Like I said, our population of core territories is 200 million people, non-core 157 million people. If we plus them, there is going to be 360 million people population of the Great Russian State. We reached our goal. So now we are the one of the most populated countries in the world. And we have enough territories that Russians can live. Russians can live wherever they want. From the Breslau to the Kamchatka. From Belugistan to Taimir. 
So yeah, it's a great Russia. It's the great Russia of the Savinkov. And it has built only for 8 years. You can see the positions of the most cool court in the world and they are fantastic. No one can be as cool as we are. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave in the comments your mind about the Russian state. And bye.